A CTO is a chronic total occlusion. So uh, it's a total occlusion, which means that it's 100% blocked. Most of the arteries that we open with stents or do bypass surgery on aren't completely blocked. You know, they may be 80 or 90% blocked, but not 100% blocked. I've known for many years that that artery was, was totally blocked, you know. And I'd just come to accept it, that there was nothing that could be done. Mr. Topless's story goes back over 20 years ago when he lived in Colorado. Uh, he was experiencing angina and had a coronary angiogram performed there. Uh, and the recommendation was that he have bypass surgery. Flew me to Denver and then uh, flew me via helicopter from the airport to the hospital. And uh, they did a, uh, a quad bypass. Well, within 30 days, one of the bypasses totally blocked. They uh, did another coronary angiogram and found that the graft was blocked. And so for the last 20 years, it's been attempted to treat him with, uh, with medications. I'd just given up, you know. I figured it was gonna be that way till the day I died. In uh, 2011, I moved to here to Oregon. So the next thing I knew, Dr. Cook called me. And, and like out, of the blue. out of the blue, you know, just uh, one day he called me. And I'd never heard of, heard of uh, Dr. Cook at all. And uh, he said that uh, they had developed a new procedure and he had discussed it with Dr. Sanger and determined that I was a good candidate for uh, this new procedure. We talked to him about the, the risks and benefits of the procedure and he was very interested in, in going forward. After, you know, 20 years of having the angina, I was saying, you know, go for it. You know, I'd be willing to do anything, you know. We uh, were able to open his chronically occluded right coronary artery, even though it had been occluded for at least 20 years. In his case, we used uh, a retrograde technique, what's called a reverse CART, which is uh, controlled integrate and retrograde tracking, where we go in through both the front door and the back door and establish a common channel and then stint through that channel. So we got a uh, very nice result in, in his case, and he had very sudden, uh, quick improvement in his symptoms. I went back to see him that evening. He was one of the first procedures uh, that we had done that day. And when I saw him that evening, he had already been walking through the hallways, and he said it was the first time he'd been without engine in 20 years. I got up and walked, no pain. And I was, I'm sure I was grinning from ear to ear and uh, because I was so happy about it. It was uh, uh, a, a real revelation to, uh, to not have that pain. I have to say that in all the years that I've been practicing, this is one of the most gratifying things that I've ever done in that uh, the patients that we're treating uh, have been experiencing angina for, for years, sometimes decades, and opening these arteries, uh, they have a dramatic and immediate relief uh, of their angina. And uh, these are some of the most grateful patients that I've ever taken care of. All in all, I just can't say enough about uh, the people, the way I was treated, and uh, the success of uh, the procedure is just phenomenal. Uh, Dr. Cook and Dr. Sanger in Eugene. Both were tremendous, wonderful people. Both of them uh, perfectly willing to spend all the time needed to talk to me in terms that I could understand. And um, that meant a lot. And then the people, the nurses and all the staff at the hospital were just wonderful people. No complaints whatsoever. There are so many stories like Mr. Topless's. There, there's so many people in whom we've made such a dramatic difference in, in their quality of life. It's very common. There are a lot of these patients out there. There are a lot of patients with CTOs that, that uh, aren't being well treated at this point. They continue to be very symptomatic. There are a lot of medications. And we now have the technology, the procedures, where we can make a dramatic improvement in these people's lives.